Ahoy and welcome to this narrowboat adventure. Today is episode two of Carl Goes to London Islands. Carl Goes to London Islands book club. Uh, so this week we're going to page 137, Desborough Island. So we visited Desborough Island. It is just between uh, Shepparton and Weybridge. It's a man-made island that's uninhabited, but it does have some stuff going up on on it. It was artificially created, I read in the book, and I immediately thought, how did that happen? Um, so the natural flow of the Thames is quite wiggly in that area, and so to join uh, the Thames and make the path a little bit straighter, they dug a channel straight through to Weybridge. Um, so you'll see if you look at the map, there's one straight bit of the island and then there's one wiggly bit. And so they dug the straight bit out and they obviously put that soil onto now the island, Desborough Island. And so that's how it came to be that way. So on the island, there's two uh, roads and they're both one way. So that's why there's two road bridges. And that's how people get on and off the island. The island has a water pump station and a reservoir, which I would presume is probably used to regulate the water in the non-tidal parts of the Thames. It also has a rugby club and it also was the site of a culture club video, the one for uh, Camera Chameleon, it represented Mississippi. Um, and some of the uh, tour boats in the area look quite like Mississippi style boats. So I definitely recommend if you're in the area, check that out. Um, on the other side of the island, uh, on the old part of the river, there is a really lovely place to moor in Shepparton, near some woods. Um, and there's a lot of lovely mansions, so that's nice viewing on the way round. And also a, um, the Desborough uh, uh, Sailing Club. Uh, this island is particularly well known as a nice place for wild swimming. The island itself is a nature conservation area. So it's really, really beautiful for walks and also a great place to go do some wild swimming. There's lots of small beachy areas you'll see um, on the way around. So myself, Luke from the uh, record deck, which is a floating uh, record sell say selling boat, and my friend Jocelyn all went for a walk and to go swimming on Desborough Island. Here we are at Doyle Cart Island. No, we're not. What's this island? Desborough. Desborough Island. <laughs> and we're going swimming in the Thames. Uh, it's wonderful. Back to you in the studio. <laughs> oh, we've got a race now. <laughs> We also took the boat on a cruise around the outside of the island. Okay, so here we are cruising around the outside of the island. Um, we can have a quick competition. You let me know in the comments whereabouts on the island in terms of this video you think the Culture Club music video for Karma Chameleon was filmed. Uh, we're just passing under one of the two one-way uh, car bridges, the access to the island. And so we're going straight down the straight part of the island, uh, which is the cut that was man-made to make it faster to get to Weybridge. As you can see, it's quite green. That's due to it being an area of nature conservation. Um, and as you can see, every so often there are these sort of small beaches that are set into the woodland. Uh, once again with this, uh, trip around the island I have sped it up if you want to change the speed speed it up any further or slow it down in the right hand corner of the screen there is a button you can click and you can choose uh, to speed it up or slow it down there um, sorry for my cat interruption there she's desperate to go out but we're about to move the boat so she can't okay so um, 
just coming up here on the left hand side I think is the back of the water pumping station yes just before we get to the second road bridge that you can see off in the distance um, there were some buildings and I thought that they might be houses but I can see in all the information that the island is uninhabited um, so these must be part of the water, water pumping station Okay, and now we're passing under the second road bridge and getting to the end of the straight part of the island and we'll be turning onto the old river, so where the River Thames naturally um, went itself. So on the left-hand side here as we come up, that's actually a uh, mooring. So you can actually moor on Desborough Island and have the island all to yourself. It's free for 24 hours and then you pay after that. Um, and as it's an uninhabited island, you would have the whole island all to yourself. So that's quite nice. Um, so you see that upper head, which looks like a, a weir. I think that's where the water reservoir is. And to the left, you can see some buildings um, and those would be the water pumping station. I'm not sure where the rugby club is. I think it might be set quite deeply into the island because on this trip around the island we didn't see it and we weren't really looking for it when we were doing the uh, walk. So it's quite a long trip around the outside of the island and it's very beautiful. I certainly recommend if you are coming by boat to take the old route because it is so pretty. And there's two moorings on the way. Um, we'll see the second one in just a little while, my favourite mooring of this area at any rate. Um, so there's a few more fishing spots, uh, sorry, fishing spots or swimming spots on this side. And I would recommend that you do um, stop on this side if you want to go for a swim because it's a lot safer because it's a lot less busy. So we're just coming up now to the area where I went swimming earlier in the video. Um, I think it's uh, the second piece of um, clearing just up here and I swam all the way to the other side so I can say that I've swum the Thames and uh, not be lying technically um, and it's just a very pleasant place the water's ever so calm so it's quite safe to swim I'd say when you're boating here it's definitely good to keep an eye out for little heads in the water though um, and also a bit further on there are some other obstacles I'll tell you about um, but yeah so that's I think where we were swimming one of those two little breaks there and we swam over to the other side obviously keeping a good eye out for boats As you can see, the water is so calm here compared to the previous video I did about the Thames. This is the other mooring spot that I mentioned. Um, lovely to moor there. Normally a lot more green and lush, um, but obviously we've had a lot of hot weather lately. There's some nice woodland walks there. Um, so as I was saying, um, if you think about how the water was uh, on the tidal part of the Thames, although it wasn't that choppy or anything, here it's very, very calm, so perfect for swimming. And actually very clean as well. Um, so up ahead you can see a building, and that actually is the building that goes with the Desborough Clu Cruising Club. Um, the, so often when you come around this corner there's quite a lot of um, small sailing dinghies. Uh, sailing around and so that's a lovely place to come and have a look at here's another spot this is my bet for where the culture cup video the culture club video was filmed i think this is the spot but i want to know in the comments where you think the spot was
that that's a perfect swimming spot. But unfortunately, someone else got there first the day we went swimming. It's funny how when you go back to um, full speed rather than fast speed, it seems like slow motion because you're so used to everything being in fast motion. Now we've almost done the entire island at this point we haven't seen a single person on there. I think as we get to the end of the island though we will see some fishermen. Ah, and another point of interest is this butty. Um, it's been there for as well, at least the last couple of years. Um, it never seems to have anything much in it. It's just there and uh, I always wonder what it's there for. I always think maybe I should moor on it, but we always want to go to one of the nice mooring spots. But I do have a fascination with what this butty might be there for. So if anybody knows the story behind it, let me know. Ah, now you can see some fishermen. If you carry on past this island, you get to Doyle Cart Island. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you'd like to join us again on this narrowboat adventure. You can do so by clicking subscribe down below. I also post the videos over on Facebook if you'd like to find them there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.